We go through this every single time you do a haul. Why are you not prepared? Get your makeup wipes, woman. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to film the second part of the haul that I promised you guys and all of today's goodies are going to be drugstore. So if you're looking to start your collection or expand it, either way this is going to be great for your wallets. Let's get started because I don't want to keep you guys waiting and ain't no telling how long this video is going to be. I have two boxes of goodies right here. Some of it's from Ulta, again all drugstore, and then the other stuff is actually from Walgreens or Target or Walmart. So I'll let you know specifically if something can only be found at Ulta, but either way, like I said, it's affordable. So we're going to start off with a product that I got from Ulta. I've been looking for a face palette to take on vacation. Up until now, I've only had a palette that I found by Rimmel and it's like a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter, but they only have three shades and it's really really light i don't like the blush i don't like the highlighter i only use it for the contour so i saw that makeup revolution came out with this patricia bright collaboration and it's a face palette this is the palette in your gold i want to say there's either three or four versions of this so there are different shades confession i have used this i took this with me on vacation and i swatched it the last time i filmed this haul so it is used but this is what the palette looks like and as you can see there is a gold highlighter a bronzer color and a blush all of these colors fit really well with my skin tone the bronzer is a bronzer it's definitely not something that i can contour with but these are what the shades look like on my finger. So this is the blush, this is the bronzer, this is the highlighter. And because I got some sun, you cannot really see this bronzer at all anymore. But these are what the colors look like. Great investment and like I said, there are different options for the shade range. So if you need darker or lighter, you can have it. The next thing that I got also got from Ulta, but I do know that they have this at Target. I've seen it. This is the LA Girl Pro Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I know that you guys saw in my last drugstore haul that I got the Pro Mastery Palette. I brought it back. I didn't like it. It wasn't deep enough for what I prefer. If you are a fair skin tone or someone just getting started in makeup, you will love it. It's neutrals. It's warm toned. It just wasn't enough for me. And in case y'all didn't know, it does not matter unless something specifically says no returns, all sales, final. Any makeup you buy from anywhere, if you don't like it, you can bring it back. So don't make the mistake I did when I first started buying stuff and then just keeping it even though it didn't work for you or you didn't like it or it wasn't the right shade. Keep your receipt, try it. If you don't like it, bring it back and get your money back. But anyway, that's a little tip for you. This is what the palette looks like. So I looked at this in the store and I was like, Barbara, you don't need that. You already have colorful palettes. And then I brought the other one back and I was like, well, I'm gonna get this one just to see. I was very, very surprised at how these colors show and how pigmented they are. This silvery shimmery color here, I'm going to show you all this, at the bottom is very soft and flaky, so be careful with that, this shade here, but all the others are more just like your standard foil shadows. But yeah, that silver one is so flaky, but look how reflected that is very beautiful bold colors like this is what i want from an eyeshadow palette and another reason i picked this one 
is because if you look at the color scheme, you can cover this bottom row completely. And then this looks like a very beginner friendly neutral palette. And then you remove the, the, you look at the bottom and there you have some pops of color. So I think it's a great starter palette for someone who wants to try color, but they're scared and don't want to waste their money on just buying a colorful palette and a neutral palette. You get the best of both worlds in that one. The next thing that I picked up is something that I picked up from Ulta. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Roxy Highlighting Contour Palette. Now y'all know how much I love my Tarte Face Palette and I don't know if you can still buy that. Plus it is high end. Ever since I did my full face of drugstore and realized that I don't have a lot of drugstore products, especially like full face products, I have been on the hunt to find something that will work better and give you guys more options. So this is what the palette looks like. Very reflective, very pretty. And then when you open it up, yes, I've swatched this. Um, this is what the palette looks like. So as you can see, there is a very deep, bronze color contour color there's another bronzer there's two lighter shades if you're more fair complexion and then there's a dark highlighter a standard kind of gold highlighter and then two light colored highlighters one of them is a pink the other is a yellow i think this is a really great option and i have glitter all over me from that eyeshadow palette <sighs> that silver in that la pro palette Yo, that is not coming off. Okay, I'm drying my hands. Sorry. Um, I just want to show y'all a couple swatches real quick just to show how deep these go. This is the darkest color for the contour, which is actually a little darker than the Patricia Bright palette that I had. This is one of the highlighters. Ooh, that is so pretty. Let me see what this pink one. This is very, very icy. So this dark, dark shade, if you can see it, that is the contour color. And then this is the gold highlighter. And then this is that pink one. Very shiny and icy. So definitely think this is going to work out nice. I will keep you guys posted. We will be here all day if I try to swatch all this stuff. So some of it I'm going to go through fast. I also wanted to try out some more drugstore brushes. And I found these Wet n Wild contour brushes. I don't have that many contour brushes specifically. I have some bigger brushes and I just kind of pinch them to get in my cheekbones but these are specifically contour brushes these were like 99 cents so i got three of them i found them at target they are synthetic so it's not real animal hair or anything like that but as you can see from the shape of these it has a nice little curve and then they are very i don't know if you can see that or not but they are very narrow so they fit right into the hollow right there so I think these will be good. They're very inexpensive and I like a lot of elf brushes. So I just wanted to see how the wet and wild ones compare. I picked up three of them. 99 cents. If they work well, then I have backups. Plus, you know, with them being synthetic, I don't know if they're going to shed. I don't know how long they're going to last. So I just wanted to have a backup in case I really liked it. I also grabbed another elf flawless concealer brush. I have one of these and I lost it for a little while and I was like, I can't believe I don't have another one. So I found it. I have another one now, but I love these to blend out my concealer under my eye and on my eyelids if I just want to use a brush instead of using my sponge. So don't really need this, but I like to have it as an option. I feel like it helps everything look more airbrushed. It blends out better around the edges. And then I just take my sponge and I go back over everything. So glad I found another one of these. I also was super excited to find this. So y'all know how much I love my Bare Minerals, no, Buxom Primer Infused Blush. 
Well, e.l.f. has some and I've only seen that they had like two colors and both of them were super light. I have always rosy, but it's a light pink. And I was just like, this is not enough. I found this always spicy and guys, y'all know I'm gonna wear this a lot. Look at this color. This is almost like a bronzer color, but with a little more red to it. And it's smooth, but it's just like this burnt red terracotta. Uh, yeah, it almost just looks like you got a little sunburnt, a little red flush to your skin, but I think it's gonna be perfect for summer and for just in general to have a drugstore option for a long wearing blush. So I will show you that in another video and keep you posted on how it works. The next thing I got, this is also, this is from Target. All the brushes that I just showed and the blush is from Target. This is also from Target. Um, this is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. This says you can actually use it wet or dry. I have never used a sponge dry, ever. So, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I can't open this. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. But, I'm always on the hunt for good sponge options. And I was intrigued. Uh, this is the size of it right now. Of course, they get bigger when you wet them. Shaped like most normal sponges. It does feel a little coarser, like rough. So I'm not sure how that's going to be, but I guess I'm going to have to try it dry because that's the only thing it advertises that it can do different, better than anything else that I have. So we'll see how that goes. Now this, I at no point was I ever really thinking about picking this up. And then I've seen videos on it, but I was just like, eh, not interested. And then I went to the store, I went to Target and they had one left. And I was just like, I think I need this in my life. So this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Eyeshadow Palette. Now y'all saw in my Soft Glam that I use the uh, New Classics Palette by e.l.f. and it was all neutrals. This one is colorful. I've heard a lot of good things about this, but I haven't tried it yet. And again, I looked at this and I was like, okay, there are some neutral colors in here if you want a neutral look, but if you want colorful options, same as the LA Girl, you can have them in here. So I'm gonna just swatch a few of these, which I've done already. That white one, okay, these are very, like, uh, I stuck my finger in the green one and a lot came off on my finger and then it fell off onto the blue. You guys probably ain't gonna be able to see this, but. So be careful, these are very powdery. And I noticed that with the new classics too. Uh, let's see, so I swatched the green, I swatched the blue. And let's see with this gold. See, this is just flaky. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. This gold Paradiso, Paradiso. I'm not saying that right. Pariso? Whatever. It's kind of flaky. It's gold, but it has like a reddish undertone to it. This one here. And then this is the blue. This is the green and this is the blue. Oh, that gold swatch is better than it got on my finger. That is really pretty. Yeah, the green's a little patchy, so you'll probably have to build it up a little bit, but it still shows well. And then that blue is really pretty. That's brighter than I thought it would be. So those are the colors. I like this gold. That's going to be very pretty to do a warm gold look with some red with it. So, yeah, these, I mean, it's pretty much like the same formula as the new classics. So if you've tried that, you know what you're getting yourself into. They are powdery. Um, so just be aware of that when you do your makeup, you want to either do your eyes first or 
put powder on underneath your eyes if you've already done your makeup so that if there is any fallout, you can just sweep it off and it won't mess up your makeup. I also decided to pick up, which I opened this already. Most of this stuff, I like I said, guys, I filmed this before, so it's open, but trying to show you guys everything. I picked up this Ardell Dual Lash Applicator. This is the packaging for it, but this is what it looks like. I've noticed that I can put my lashes on a lot easier with this because you can hold the lash in between this part here and then you just hold it down and you put it on your eye versus just having the little piece of tweezers and the way this is shaped you can also use it to squeeze your lashes to mesh them with your natural lashes and then there's also this other side here where if there's a part coming up you can just use it to press it down or reapply some lash glue if you need to in the corners whatever so I like that this is dual sided and it's easier for me to put lashes on this way. Also from Target. This, again from Target. I have raved about the e.l.f. camo concealer to you guys forever. And so when I was in the store, I saw that they actually have a camo concealer sponge. And it says best with our camo concealers. It's smaller than a normal beauty blender or normal sponge, so you can see the difference in the size between these. So it'll be really good for fitting under your eye to help blend out your concealer. So these are super cheap, like less than $5. So I just wanted to try a different option and see how it works. I also picked up this from Target. Again, back to the face palette hunt that I'm on right now. I have never tried anything from Black Radiance and I think in the beginning I just I saw the brand but I didn't know a lot about makeup and what I was doing so when I saw this I was just like I don't need these colors what is this for this doesn't match my face well sweetheart it's a contour and a bronzer and a highlight so it's not supposed to exactly match your face live and learn and I'm here to teach y'all so this they have two three different colors. They have a light, medium, medium to dark, and then they have a deep dark. I picked up the deep dark and I brought it back. Like that was way too dark for me. So it's good to see that because a lot of times there just aren't products that are dark enough for deep skin tones. So this is, like I said, in medium to dark. This is the contour. This sculpting color, I don't think I would use that. Maybe around the edges of where I highlight, maybe, but I, I don't know about that. And then this highlight, I'll show you guys. The highlight's a little darker than what I normally use. This sculpt color is more, I guess it's kind of like a highlight. And then again, this is a cool tone contour color here at the bottom. I hope you can see that so definitely a good option and like I said there are more shades so if I wanted to go back and get the other one since I am a little darker now I could but I'm pretty sure I can build this one up and make it work so I'll use it in a video soon and I will keep you guys updated on how that goes okay I have a few more things from Ulta and then the rest of these are again from the drugstore either Target Walmart or CVS I went into the store the other day to return something and I saw that they had a clearance tower which there's rarely every anything ever good on there but I saw this Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation and like I said before I went on vacation I was trying to find less mattifying foundations that would match my skin tone before I got tan so I've heard good things about this one. This one is in the color 500 Natural Toffee. It is going to be too light for me right now, but I do think that during the winter, this will be a great shade for me. And since it's a natural radiant finish, it will not be extremely drying. Actually, y'all, this color, will walk, this might match me right now. Ooh, good. You can't even see that on my hand. Ooh, that makes me excited. I need to try that ASAP. And then 
I also saw, oh, and because this had a yellow sticker, it was 50% off. So this was $14 and I got it for seven. And then same thing with this LA Girl Pro Matte. This was also on sale. Uh, I think these are like $6, $8, something like that. And I got it for half off. This is not going to match me right now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be too light. I do know that they extended their shade range. Both of these do come with a pump. This is in the shade Cafe. It probably would have fit me before vacation, but definitely is not going to fit right now. Honestly, I only picked it up because it was on sale um, because it is, it says it's a mattifying foundation and I don't really want that right now, but I've heard good things about it. So when my tan goes away, I will try this out and let you know how it wears. I ordered this online because they don't have it in the store. This is the Makeup Revolution Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. Now... I was super frustrated that when I went into the stores, there were no deep bronzers. None at Target, none at Walmart, none at CVS. The ones that they have in there like wouldn't even be dark enough for me and I'm not that dark. So I went on Ulta's website and I saw these. Now this is in the shade medium dark. Medium wear. This is so dark, like I don't, I can wear it now for sure, but if I was lighter, I don't think I would be able to wear this. Except maybe for like, <laughs> in my crease or something for eyeshadow. Look at how dark this is, guys. And you can definitely see it on my hand. It comes off a little cool, so this is gonna be great to contour with and also to bronze. I cannot wait to use this. I started to bring it back because I was just like, this is way too dark for me, but I wanted to have an option for a darker shade to be able to show you guys. And now that I got a tan, it's gonna work. So I'm glad I kept it. Last thing I got is a sculpting brush from e.l.f. This was $10 on sale for half off. So it's five bucks and I'm telling y'all, stalk the sales. Stalk all the time. I don't like paying full price for makeup. I just, it makes me love it even more if I can get it on sale. But I just thought this brush is pretty. And again, it's shaped very narrow. So it'll be great for contouring here, here, even if you want to use on the sides of your nose. So now I can stop being ratchet and squeezing my big brushes together. So... I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And again, if it's on sale and I think I'm going to use it, I'm probably going to get it. The last things that I have are all from drugstore, like I said earlier. So this powder, this is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. I have heard that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Finishing Powder. And I don't want to spend $40 on a powder. So I decided to try this. I was having a lot of trouble finding this. I went on Amazon and Amazon had it, but they were charging like, so I guess it was an individual seller and they were trying to sell it for like $25, 30 bucks. And then I go to Target and it's there for 12 or $13 and it was on sale for 20% off. And if you have your red card, then that's another 5% off. So just swipe and save. We love it. But this is what the powder looks like. I said in the other haul video that I'm looking for something that is a little less yellow, but is still going to help blur my pores and to help set under my eyes. So this feels like butter. It is so smooth. It's a little darker than I thought it was going to be. You can still see it'll highlight for sure, but it's not going to give me like a super brightening effect. So if I'm going for a more natural look, this powder is going to be great. So can't wait to try that. And because I found it on sale, I, I did get two of them. I'm just going to put that out there. I already bought my backup. 
that's how excited I was that I was able to find it. So let's just hope it works well. But if not, bring that shit back. I also picked up a mascara. Um, I don't think I have any waterproof mascaras. I do know that I've heard some stuff about they can dry out your lashes and whatever else. But I was really just looking for something new, something extremely black. I've heard good things about this one. So this is the CoverGirl Extreme Black Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. It says you can wear it for 24 hours. And I have a CoverGirl mascara that I like, but it's from the Queen Collection, which is not available anymore. So I wanted to get another option besides just my L'Oreal Voluminous. We all know that's like a cult favorite. This is what the brush looks like on this one. So not very big, really spiky. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but we'll see. Um, I guess just for reference, I like, I don't know if you've tried the Fenty Mascara, but I really like that one. I do like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but I do feel like it flakes on me. And I also like... The L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, I really like that one a lot. And the brush is different from that. So I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but we'll see. Now, I also picked up two of, it's the same thing, but I got two of them because I use this pretty often. I decided to get the hydrating version of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I got it in the same shade. It's a deep chestnut. That's the one I use for my full face. But because I am drier now, I wanted to find an option that was hydrating, but it's still going to last. So hopefully this will last as well as the other camo concealer, but it's not going to dry me out like the other one does. I also picked up another blush. Um, I got intrigued looking at all the different stuff that Black Radiance had. So this is their... It's called their Artisan Color Baked Blush, and this is in the shade Toasted Almond. Y'all, I love colors like this. It kind of looks like the e.l.f. one, but it's baked, so it has that dome shape. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of like a circle in the pan, but this color is like very pretty, give you a little burnt flush. It doesn't swatch well on my hand, but I know that this is going to be beautiful. It has a nice little sheen. You probably can't see that, but it just gives you a nice little bit of flush of color if you're going for a neutral look, but you can't leave the house without blush like me. So I'm excited to see how that looks, especially with my skin being dry. It's not going to accentuate my dryness and I think it'll look good because it has that little bit of sheen in it. Okay, we're winding down to the end. Got a few more. Well, it's more than a few, but these will go quick. I picked up a few more eye products. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in Coffee. I love using a brown liner for my bottom lash line, so I just wanted to try this one. I don't think... I have an e.l.f. eyeliner in black. Or is that Wet n Wild? Nope, that's Wet n Wild. I don't have an e.l.f. I don't have an e.l.f. one. So I just wanted to get this to try something new. So it says it's supposed to not budge, so we'll see. That's the color there, definitely brown, not black, which I like. So that's good for more neutral colors. And then I picked up this Wet n Wild 16 hour breakup proof, waterproof liquid eyeliner. This is a I want to say it's a brush tip, which is why I picked it over the new e.l.f. one that they have that's supposed to be long wearing. Let me not lie to y'all. Hold on. Yes, brush tip. I could have just opened it and probably looked at it. Um, so, yeah, definitely has a brush tip. Uh, it's black, but... Let's see how it dries down. It looks like it's drying down not like extremely black like my Clinique one does. I feel like this would be okay. This 
line is like several strokes and then this is just one stroke. I feel like this will be okay with like more neutral looks, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. I don't know. I'm just wondering if it'll be dark enough for a dramatic look, but we'll see how it goes. I also picked up this Maybelline New York Matte Ink Superstay. I guess this is a liquid lipstick, but they came out with a chocolate line. So it's all brownish color nudes. And this one is called Coco Connoisseur. It's a red brown and it kind of reminds me of the Fenty lip color that I showed in the last video. This one is also a reddish brown color. So that's what that looks like. Maybe kind of matches what I have on right now, but it's gonna be matte. So I'm just trying to get ready for fall and darken things up, make my nudes a little darker. So we'll see how that goes. The last four things I have in this box are all foundations and they are all too light. Again, I bought these before I went on vacation. So these are not my summer colors, but like I said, I wanted to find hydrating options. So I now have them for when I can use them. Um, I never buy anything from Almay, but I had a coupon for like 40% off. So I decided to try it. This is their Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation. This is 230 Warm Caramel, and it says all day wear, oil free, all skin types. So even though it says Comfort Matte, I still got it because it says all skin types. This does not come with a pump, and this is very light. Not gonna match me right now. But I was actually surprised to see that they even had something this dark because you don't normally see stuff in our shade range from all May. So that is what that looks like. So yeah, too light for me right now, but I think it'll be a good shade, maybe a little light. We'll see. It sucks because I bought all this stuff and by the time I'll be able to wear it, if it's not good, I ain't gonna be able to bring it back because it's gonna be too late. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. Now I do have the one that comes in the tube that kind of reminds you of the It CC Cream. Oh, what's the name of it? It's the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I really like that one, but I wanted to try this one out because it says Radiant. This is in the color 120 Caramel. This one comes with a pump. And yeah, too light, but We'll see. I just, um, I'm curious at how radiant foundations wear, if they can still be radiant, but long wearing. Cause a lot of times you go for matte products when you want it to last longer. I think this is a better shade than the Almay one anyway. So that's what that looks like. And then the last thing, oh, sorry, two more. I also picked up this e.l.f. Oil-Free Satin Finish Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Caramel as well. And they say that this is for deep tan with neutral undertones. I've heard good things about this foundation, but I've never tried it. A long, long time ago, I tried their Acne one and I didn't really like it. I can't stand the way this stuff smells. It smells like paint, but it wears well. So if you're not sensitive to smells, you should be okay with this. Oh, that's too much. Uh, but yeah, again, this one's too light. It's, oh, that is, that does not sound like the shade that they said. Deep tan with neutral undertones. Where? I mean, I know I'm dark right now, but I don't know. Maybe if it dries down. That will probably be mixed with something because I don't see how that is anybody's deep nothing. Anyway, this is the last product. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. And this has SPF 15. It's in the, two, in the color 210 Classic Tan. 
Again, too light, but I have the Pro Matte version and I've worn it since I've been this dry and I just can't. So maybe I can mix them <laughs> when my color goes back to normal. Well guys, that's it for the haul. This is everything that I picked up from the drugstore and I feel good about it. I feel like now having all these products, I will be able to put together an ultimate drugstore beginner's makeup kit for you guys. That's something I've been working on and now I have everything to be able to do it. So subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you will know every time I upload. And when that video comes, you'll be able to watch it so you can build your kit. Thanks for tuning in for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.